What's up? It's a sleepy Sunday morning in Brussels. I've mostly lost my voice from going to Walibi, Belgium yesterday, which was an absolute blast. Uh, full uh, video vlog or whatever on my uh, roller coaster channel, The Coaster Craze. I'll link that above. Um, but yeah, this is my uh, final day in Belgium pretty much. Um, right now I'm just going by myself, uh, Shashwat, who is my friend who's with me. Uh, he'll be coming in a bit, but I'm going to the Musical Instruments Museum in the Old England building, which I'm super stoked about, before we catch the train to spend the rest of our day in Ghent. Got a wonderful oat smoothie, which is like a smoothie with a bunch of fruit and oats in it. Interesting. We've arrived! Musical Instruments Museum. I'm very excited. It just opened like two minutes ago. What's incredibly cool here is like you get this audio guide and you can read about each instrument and you press the number and it'll play for you the instrument into your headphones. I've never been to an instrument museum, but this is like the coolest thing ever because I am obsessed with music. So there's instruments from all over the world, not just like Belgium. And like these are often like the Tibetan Himalayan region. Best instrument is definitely the clog fiddle. Now this is just wild. This is seriously an instrument? And these two? Oh, this place is wild done over here. Also, I just love this building's art deco architecture. There's mine. Yo, somebody call up George Harrison. Again, it's such a beautiful building. Look at this elevator. On the way to Brussels Central now to get to Ghent. I've never seen more bikes in my life. Also, this definitely does not feel like a place where American tourists are. Like, it just it just feels like it's a local place, which is interesting. Why so? I don't know, just the amount of bikes, just the way that like, people are walking around that don't look like tourists. We really are just in some town right now. Dude, this is a, a nice city park, oh my god. I kind of, I might like this one more than the Brussels park to be honest. Just, really? Yeah, it's just, I like how dense the trees are in the variety, especially during fall. And these statues with these columns like right when you enter. Dude, these statues are fire, what is this? And again, the trees, oh my god. Dude, we just entered a fairy tale. Oh my god. What a park, it's literally one of my favorite city parks. This is Stam, their big city museum that opened up previously. Yo, we're in Stam, which is like the big city museum of Ghent. Um, I didn't take my camera with me in, but I have to show this aerial photo room of the whole city. This is so sick, just like walking on top of it. Maybe some people will find this cheesy, but like they have a whole room dedicated to Ghent, but in Lego. I've never seen this in a museum before, but they have a whole room dedicated to like what if, like what if like this got built, what if this port was still located here and you can see they have the photos like aligned in a way where you can see like these what ifs play out, which as someone who loves like history and how like cities formed and all that stuff, it's so cool. I always love when you get to the modern pop culture section of these museums, like the city museums, like there's a population changing throughout the years. Very cool. Two last things about the museum. I love these gardens in the center of this gorgeous building. And it's also very unique how they have these modern pictures just to show like the present state of the city and just like normal city life. We have left the museum, we're going closer to the city center. Again, these canals are so pretty. Dude, literally one of the most beautiful places I've been. And, like, this has like a little bit of a New England vibe of the US. Weird bridge, but I love that. <laughs> the boats and the bridge and the building. Oh. And like there's the belfry up there, the clock tower. That's where we're gonna be going and uh, walking up. Oh, this is so adorable. 
So I just had a salad, a poke bowl lunch at a Japanese place, which is actually my first poke bowl since I was in America, and I love them, so that was cool. We got the church over there. We're gonna have this, my final and second uh, Belgian waffle. If you'll focus, it's like this waffle stick dipped in milk chocolate with hazelnut. It looks fantastic. The medieval belfry. That is, that is sick. I'm like, those really churches over there. They all kind of fit together so well. It's like, not very hard to envision this as a medieval village almost, even with all this stuff going on. Base of the belfry. I'm about to go up. Oh my gosh, this is like old, old. Check. Oh, this is cool. Made it to the top, or as high as we can go, this clock room. Look at this mechanism. So this mechanism is currently in use, it's from 1913. And uh, still has to be manually done to keep the clock uh, on the correct time. Pretty cool. Yeah, I just read that like two minutes ago, but I'm gonna say it like I'm, a, I'm an expert on this subject. We got the view. This is cinematic fashion. What's up, Shasha? Oh my god. I love when views like this are just so unobstructed. Like, this is kind of scary to look down, but look down. We were just there. One of the churches will be soon. There's McDonald's also worth checking out, potentially. There's the other church right here. This might be the tallest church. We're very high up right now, and that is even higher. Look at the window farm. There's so many impressive churches in this city, oh my gosh. This one's pretty cool too. Yeah, this city was not very destroyed in World War II, so that's why it's kept so much of its like medieval charm going. Oh, look at the way down. This is like a mine shaft. Utterly terrifying. That might be the biggest bell I've seen east of the Mississippi. I think it's fun when you look at churches and all that stuff as well. And of course if you're interested, you know, it becomes even But if you're so interested in architecture. Okay, this is St. Baba's Cathedral and again. Look at this reveal. Sorry, I'm on my phone because my memory card is full. Honestly, I don't think I could ever get tired of visiting these crazy European churches. Every one of them has their own little special uh, ideas of grandeur. And oh my gosh, it's just every time it hits you. Look at the scale. And over here is the paying zone back there. I'm not gonna be doing that, but wow. And look at that organ. Oh my god. You've heard it here, folks. Amadeus, the place for ropes. The boys. Dude, yeah, Belgian's first superhero themed bar. Interesting. Yeah, the boys. So we just played like Pong, but like an arcade game. So cool. He beat me. I don't want to talk about it. But uh, I think now we're going to go into St. Nicholas Church. Oh, this is not the church. This is a digital art exhibit. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh. Graffiti Street is more of a graffiti alley, but it still looks cool. Yeah. It smells like graffiti, kind of. <laughs> huh. This is very interesting. Before seeing the castle, we're actually uh, stopping at Fritz. Atelier, getting beef stew, fries, sauce. Kind of cool, they have like these massive fried meals as you can see over here. This is wild, what the heck. This is crazy. Look at that. And look at all of them on their boat tour. So Castle is uh, sold out for today. It's a big oof, a big, big oof. This is probably the greatest tragedy this castle has ever seen. I will not be going here today. Hey, 
This city is famous for its cupboard -ins. Look at these guys. Excited to try them out. This candy shop looks fire. This is the main square. It's like starts with a V. I can't really pronounce it. Of uh, Ghent. This is this fella. He's like a key merchant in Ghent's history. So um, he is not uh, a Nazi, even despite his hand position. But yeah, <laughs> sorry, that was a bad joke. But no, like, literally when I saw that, I was like, oh, what's this guy? But no, he's, he's just some medieval dude. And look at this, I don't know what this is. Socialist, this must have been more of the socialists meant back in the day. This guy probably didn't like them. Okay, I got a little baggie of cupboardum, if I'm pronouncing it right. So we got a little G on them, it's like really cool looking. So hopefully I like them. First one. Oh my God. That is to die for. It's like raspberry flavored. And it's like kind of a gummy on the inside. Um, I don't even know how to describe the texture on the outside, but I haven't had anything quite like this in America. Really good. Oh my gosh, as the sun sets and the lights come on, the city just gets more and more gorgeous. Like literally one of my favorite places in the world maybe top 10 where I'm standing right now. Also, I picked up uh, some chocolates from here, Leonidas Ghent, it looked really good. Just bought three like that I have right now, as well as like, a little box to bring back home to the States, which will be a fun little surprise, I think. I'm gonna say this again, but I haven't been to a place that has kept its medieval core as much as this city. Oh my God, this is, this is ridiculous. Like, I feel like it wouldn't even have looked that different back like 500 years ago. Oh, I'm gonna miss this place. I can't believe I'm leaving in a couple hours. What the hell, Ghent? Apparently this is like a bookstore? Could this really be? What the? This is like the biggest like door. Well, as I approach the station, it looks like my day in Ghent is coming to an end. And this is definitely a city if I were to go back to Europe would be high on my bucket list. Namely so I could try out their Domino's pizza, of course. It's such a cool it's train station there. I am back in Brussels and it is raining as I walk back to my hotel. But it is a pretty walk. Nevertheless, you know, my last night in Belgium. Gonna enjoy it. Uh, and by the way, uh, my friend Shashwet, who's been the past couple of vlogs, uh, he's now... Uh, Going back to college and it is just going to be me for the rest of the trip. So, uh, good luck with that. <laughs> I always seem to be walking the same route. There's the old England building where I started my day. And here's one last look at my favorite view in all of Brussels. Oh my God, at night. Ah, oh, with the clouds and the lit up Grand Place Town Hall. Gorgeous. I'm going to end the vlog out here with this, uh, African cuisine. I saw I was the hotel's right near the African area, so gotta try it. I'll see you guys later in the next video. Bye bye.